Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm in Canada and it's freezing out, but I want to do this video for you today. Um, and what we're going to talk about today is actually um, a concept I call the weekly low. I actually learned about this concept by my friend Rusty Moore. And so here's the thing. A lot of times when I'm working with people um, or I'm answering people's questions and emails, I get hundreds a day, um, I'll often get this experience where people will freak out a little bit. Um, because you know one day the weight is plateaued or you know one day the weight goes up and they'll usually freak out and they'll be like you know what am I doing wrong what do I need to do to solve this issue do I need to drop the calories do I need to increase cardio and it's kind of misunderstanding fat loss altogether you see fat loss isn't linear I mean sometimes fat loss is linear but a lot of times what we experience is you know this fluctuation where your weight goes up and down, up and down, and then over the course of several weeks, it moves in the right direction, but if you were to look at it on like a you know daily period, you'd be like, what, I'm up here, I'm down here. And so it's very natural, I mean, water fluctuation, um, a lot of these different factors, glycogen levels will affect um, your weight, um, even cortisol. So a lot of times what I see is people will freak out about their weight, it goes up and then they'll They'll get all anxious and they'll change their diet or they'll feel like shit, like, oh, it's not working and they'll like give up. But the concept I want to teach you is really simple. It's called the weekly low, where I actually weigh myself every day. I do, it's like a habit, it keeps me disciplined. It keeps me um, accountable. So I weigh myself pretty much every day, but I don't care. Today I went on the scale, I was like 171, 172. I'm like, shit, this is bad. I got a, a shoot in a few days, but I understand that weight fluctuates. I understand that you know I probably weighed myself on a high day. And so my only priority, my only goal is to hit a weekly low. So it doesn't matter if my weight's all over the place. I want to hit that weekly low. It's really motivating. So maybe you're 200 pounds. And so you know you weigh yourself and 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 you're striving for that weekly low. And that's what you're tracking. Um, because if you don't weigh yourself once a week, you know, maybe every Monday, you know, you might weigh yourself on a high day or a low day. And so it's really disconcerting. And then this helps really with a lot of things. And one of the things it helps with is it helps preventing you from doing really stupid stuff. You see, a lot of times I see people, you know, they freak out because their weight's not going down, or it's not going down fast enough, and then they drop the calories. And I really want to impress upon you not to do that. Never really, I don't recommend dropping the calories. People ask me like how often do I have to like drop my calories or recalculate my calories. I really don't. If you're in a good solid deficit, your metabolism won't decline that much. Um, what happens is you might experience a plateau, um, but we'll be discussing that more in, a, in a, an upcoming video. But really, what I recommend doing is never going lower in calories. If you're a 180 pound male on 2,000 calories and you plateau at 2,000 calories, the last thing you need to do is do more cardio and uh, decrease calories because theoretically, you should be in a deficit. Therefore, the fact that you're not losing weight is actually not really, a, like it, it doesn't uh, signify a need to go lower in calories, do more cardio. It actually signifies a need to uh, take a break from dieting. Um, but that's for another video altogether. The point is this, you know, and a lot of people want to get lean in the new year. So what I want to um, impress upon you is, you know, it's okay to weigh yourself every day. Don't be emotionally attached to the weight or the, the number on the scale. It happens, weight will fluctuate, but get motivated by seeing that, that new weekly low. Maybe it's on a Monday one week, maybe it's on a Thursday the other week, but find that weekly low and that's what you're pushing for. Um, don't worry about the fluctuations. You know, I'm working with an actor right now. Um, I don't want to say who it is just yet until we reveal the final transformation, but you know, he's down eight pounds, but you know, in the first couple of weeks, he's like, sh like he dropped a bunch of weight and then his weight plateaued. And I'm like, yo, yo, it's okay, don't worry. Um, there's fluctuations and all this, and frankly, he was gaining strength. And I told him, like, you know, the first week you went down like five pounds, so don't expect another five pounds. It's gonna be a bit slower. It might just be a pound. That's what it was. It was a pound. I'm like, this is great news. You feel amazing, you know, you're down a pound. Let's keep it going. Um, so that's what I really want to impress upon you. So many people, they have something going really, really well, but because they get confused by the number on the scale and, you know, fat loss slows down, they actually freak out and they drop calories, increase cardio, and that's what makes it impossible. It was so cold outside, my computer, my, my phone like froze up. Um, but what I was gonna say is, that's what makes it actually impossible to maintain a low body fat because you gotta learn to work with your body. So if you're always going like doing tons of cardio, going too low in calories, 
um, it's your, your body's gonna fight against it. It's gonna be this constant struggle trying to fight against your body to get lean. So you don't wanna do that. So the point of this video is um, don't obsess about the number on the scale, but shoot for that weekly low. That's the goal, because the weight will fluctuate. And so when you weigh yourself consistently, you'll be able to find that low fluctuation so you can hit that weekly low. Um, it's really, really motivating. It helps me you know, stick to the plan. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, I'm gonna be doing a series on some really new, like great fat loss tips, so stay tuned. So make sure to subscribe. And if you're ready to join Kino Body and find out which program you need to do to reach your goal physique, whether that's leaning down, stripping off fat and revealing killer muscle definition, or building muscle like a fucking god, we'll take the physique survey right here. I put a lot of work you know, into creating that, so check it out. And better, better than anything, you'll be on my mailing list where I give you a lot of my cutting edge, edge tips. Um, that I don't really share with a lot of people. And I actually kind of give you a lot of the behind the scenes into my life, you know, because a lot of times on my YouTube channel, I show this and this and this, and I don't always show the struggle behind it. I don't actually show you the full story of who I am. So I reveal that more on my mailing list, which you can join with through the survey. Um, I'm gonna try and do more of a job being, you know, you know, showing the, you know, the full story, but you know, we'll get there. So thanks again for watching. Hey.